Good day, my name is Dr. Dion Solomons, and I'll be speaking with you about the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics at the University of the Western Cape. And we'll be focusing on studying towards a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics and Statistics at our institution. Mathematics has the potential to change one's life. There's a vast variety of career opportunities that beckons those who qualify for a degree in mathematics. The home of the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics is in the CAMS building at the University of the Western Cape. So the campus building is a wonderful space for students to do and learn new mathematics. The environment is very vibrant and conducive to higher order thinking skills, engaging in group activities, providing ample space and time for establishing learning communities. As you can see by the size of the computer laboratories, we are embracing the fourth industrial revolution and, and our students love this space. Members of staff in the department So those are the 24 members of staff. On the top left hand corner, you can see the head of department, Professor Kailash Partida. Mathematics is widely used in forensic science, for instance, in image processing. The images that we see on television, in DVDs, computers, computer monitors, these are all stored as numbers and are processed produce images using coding theory. Mathematicians work in computer graphics, computer games, IT and mobile phone companies. Modern medicine uses sound waves in ultrasounds, magnetism in MRIs and x-rays in CAT scans. CAT scanners work by casting many shadows the x-rays and using mathematics to assemble these into pictures. Most professional and academic careers require mathematics. On average, mathematics graduates earn more than any other profession. Many degrees require mathematics including statistics, physics, engineering, economics, chemistry, fashion design, business studies, pharmacy, accounting, actuarial studies, electronics, cryptography. Without mathematics, we would not have the internet. We would not have credit cards, computer games, smartphones, radar, 
aeroplanes for DNA profiling. Here is a clip by Professor Fern Hunt from Washington DC in the USA where she speaks about the beauty of mathematics. The beauty of mathematics. Well, just exactly what do I mean by that? Well, we all know about the beautiful people. We probably know more than we need to know. But no doubt, as you've walked in a park or you've even walked by on the street, you must have noticed a flower or a tree, especially in the springtime. I live in Washington, D.C., and at this moment, uh, the city is really, truly beautiful. If you look at the shape of the leaves, what you see is how beautifully they are turned out. You see the beauty of the shape. Well, that beauty is something that you can see with your eye. It can be expressed in some ways in terms of the fact that one part of the flower looks very much like another part and then for example there may be a miniature part of the same plant that looks like the larger part that gives us a sense of pleasure because it to us is beautiful well mathematics mathematical objects can possess the same kinds of beauty often they coincide the beauty that we see in a flower, in a tree, is often an expression of a mathematical fact, a mathematical theorem. It might have to do with, for example, um, the fact that I can perform various kinds of operations on numbers. And when I perform operations on the numbers, the sequence of numbers form a pattern that might repeat, or it might be a pattern that, for example, is very, very long and doesn't seem to repeat at all, and then suddenly and unexpectedly it does. And so the beauty of mathematics is very, very much like, and in some sense supersedes the beauty that we see with our eyes. In that sense, it's similar to music. Music, as we all know, we have a sense of of, of beauty and music and of course this can vary I mean culturally one set of pe people may find a certain type of music very nice and we don't appreciate it at all so there it's much more subjective but in any sense the but in all sense for all groups the sense of pleasure in the repetition and the patterns that we see in notes that pattern that sense of Pleasure in patterns is what we refer to when we talk about the beauty of mathematics. It involves numbers. Well, music involves notes. Flowers involve what we see, or art involves, again, what we see. Nevertheless, they are different aspects of beauty. They use different objects, but they are beauty nonetheless. We further explore the beauty of mathematics by looking at this short video clip. It's called The Eye of the Universe. It's about Mandelbrot fractals. Thank you. 
So besides the beauty of mathematics, it is also used and is very important in banking, finance, economic uh, calculations of mortgages, payments, and um, annuities. Chemical engineers use it in differential equations, partial differential equations, Fernandez Stokes equations, and numerical analysis. Actuaries and financial analysts use it in, um, using especially time series analysis. Probability theories, stochastic analysis, the black skulls equations, and sophisticated mathematics develop and to analyze financial in instruments such as market derivatives and options. So it's easy to find the location for the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics. There's a link on top. And here we explore some of the career opportunities. For those who qualify for a degree in mathematics, you can become a math teacher, you can, can, can become a lecturer in mathematics, you could become a statistician, uh, you could become an accountant, you could be working in, in a bank, you could be doing computing, you can do engineering using mathematics, operational research, and if you qualify for a BSc, you can pursue a, a postgraduate studies by starting from honors degree in mathematics. What kind of careers are there out there for mathematicians? By studying mathematics, you develop skills in logical thinking, problem solving, decision making, and these are attributes that are valued by employers across many job sectors. So there are many job options. One could become an actuarial analyst, a financial analyst. One could study actuarial science on its own. So that's an image of the University of Western Cape Math Club. One could become a chartered accountant. One could become a research scientist working in mathematics. Research engineers use a lot of mathematics. Data analysts, an investment analyst, a secondary school teacher, pursue a career in academia. And that is the home of the University of the Western Cape. If you follow the link, uwc.ac.za will see all of what we have to offer. Statisticians use a lot of mathematics. In finance, one cannot do without studying the weather, doing physics, doing astrophysics requires comprehensive skills in mathematics and applied mathematics, doing space science, observational cosmology, mathematical biology, epidemiology in this day of COVID-19 coronavirus, and studying population dynamics. So by acquiring an in-depth knowledge of certain areas in mathematics, or by accomplishing mathematical expertise by doing an undergraduate degree, it's called the BSc in Mathematical Sciences at the University of the Western Cape, with majors in mathematics and applied mathematics or statistics, you will be equipped with necessary knowledge, understanding, and higher order thinking skills, good communication skills, patience, tenacity, 
and you'll be able to pursue research in mathematics by studying for BSc honors as well. And, and by acquiring such an in-depth knowledge of certain areas of mathematics, or by accomplishing mathematical expertise by doing an undergraduate degree in mathematical sciences, you are able to join a research company or an institution. You will be able to join a government department as a data analyst. You can do a teaching diploma. There is big demand for mathematics teachers in our schools. You could join the corporate world as a data analyst, as a financial analyst, etc. Our undergraduate program is designed to assist students in mastering skills required to be effective at doing mathematics and applied mathematics. So while many of our students and our learners from schools are going through a very difficult and challenging time because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We want to wish you well and success with your, with your school, career, and hopefully one day when you have the opportunity, please do apply for admission to the University of the Western Cape. Join us. So what do mathematicians do? He or she does academic, commercial, corporate, industrial, business, biological, astrophysical, and all kinds of other research in various spheres of mathematics, depending on the job description, project proposal, or his or her own professional choice. The scope varies, but often involves deep and abstract postulates, hypotheses, theorems, obtaining precise results using the higher um, order thinking skills, sophisticated reasoning and argumentation. A mathematical description called a model is developed in order to explain or predict real phenomena and applying mathematical principles to identify trends in data sets. Applied research can also contribute to development of commercial products or to develop intelligence about business trends. A research could venture into a diverse range of pure and applied mathematics subjects or fields. A mathematician collaborates with other scientists and people in commercial functions in the industry because the applications of mathematics are so big. There are many areas of mathematics one could pursue. Let's list a few. Algebra, analysis, combinatorics, geometry, differential equations, dynamical systems, topology, fluid mechanics, mathematical physics, the mathematics of biology, numerical analysis, about a few in scales of study. The University of Western Cape has a mathematical society that call themselves the UWC Math Club. It is a fun co-curricular activity for students to participate in mathematics. It helps students hone their competitive skills through problem solving in mathematics. It provides an academic environment in which students can share information on different aspects of mathematics through social interaction social media like WhatsApp, seminars, informal chat groups, and similar activities. There are online sources for Math Club to use for posing and solving problems in mathematics. It is a wonderful way for students to develop critical thinking skills needed inside and outside of the classroom.
these are some of the modules or first year courses that we offer in our undergraduate program. There's a variety of mathematics courses such as mathematics 1 and 2, applied mathematics, mathematics or life sciences, differential calculus, integral calculus, linear algebra. At second year level and third year level, we have modules like advanced calculus, vector calculus, real analysis, complex analysis, mathematic, mathematical modeling with uh, applications in biology, financial mathematics. We also have linear algebra, algebraic structures, modern algebra, groups, rings and fields, discrete mathematics, set theory, logic, combinatorics, graph theory. Mathematicians identify solutions by learning and applying new methods, by designing, by designing mathematical models that interpret data in meaning, meaningful ways. They keep up to date with new mathematical developments and produce original mathematical research. The specialist knowledge of mathematical software, MATLAB, MathCAD, software languages such as C, C++, and Python often helps a lot. So mathematicians present findings at group and departmental meetings. They attend and present papers at uh, um, seminars. Uh, national and international scientific conferences and meetings in the fields of their interest. They often meet with clients throughout projects to discuss ideas and results obtained. They advise clients on how to benefit from mathematical analysis and make recommendations based upon these analyses. A mathematician often finds himself at the helm of a research team or a group um, or a, a class of, of research students in academic settings. They produce tailored solutions to business problems using innovative and existing methods as well as suggesting new ways to analyze data. They share the implications of new research in reports on the develop, development of work and publish original papers in peer-reviewed scientific journals. Long ago in the area south of the Sahara Desert, mathematical thinking was mixed in the arts, riddles, games, architecture and other areas of life. The oldest mathematical games in the world originated in Africa, in the region south of the Sahara Desert. The oldest mathematical artifact, it's called the Libombo bone, dates back to more than 35,000 years ago. It was found in the Lebombo mountains near Swaziland. The development of geometrical thinking started in early African history as hunter-gatherers of the Kalahari Desert in southern Africa learned to track animals. Geometry and symmetry in repeated patterns can be seen throughout the area south of Sahara in forms of artistic designs on houses, baskets, pipes, and every, everyday items. People used an ancient structure known as the African Stonehenge in present-day Kenya as a calendar by following the shadow of the setting sun. Stones were packed to track the movement of the sun, which cast shadows on the rocks. The Yoruba people from present-day Nigeria created their own complex hunting system 
based upon the number 20, not like the number 10 that we use these days. By analyzing the variation of symmetry in geometry and geometrical patterns, um, it shows that on a piece of cloth or on cultural items, it is possible to identify which group of people made it. Certain taboos affect the numerical expression of numbers. For example, the number seven is tied to the origins of creation and great divinities within the Je Delta region. Accordingly, the, to express the number seven, you would say six plus one. Here are some research activities within our department. We have algebra, coding theory, graph theory. We offer numerical analysis. There's a group of staff members working in topology and category theory. There are courses on computational finance at postgraduate level. There's a group working on mathematical biology. Stochastic analysis. Mathematics education. Differential geometry and gravitation. Please feel free to visit our website for more information. The UWC Math Club. It was created for the students by the students of the University of the Western Cape. Greetings, everyone. My name is Ukulfeke Mkosana, well known as Ms. K. I live in Mitchell's Plain and I'm doing my final year at the University of Western Cape, doing my bachelor's degree in mathematics and statistical sciences. I'm honored to be part of an awesome family, the Maths Club, which I'm chairperson of. There are quite a few activities the Maths Club organizes. We have community outreach, which is personally one of my favorite. Greetings, everyone. So these are the community outreach activities that students get involved with. They attend schools, assisting learners in their classrooms with problems in mathematics from grades 9, 10, 11, up until grade 12. The math club is very creative. In June every year, they organize a soup day where they assist students at the university writing exams during June by providing them with a meal to keep them warm in winter times and to give them strength to attempt these difficult exams during challenging times. They arrange food parcels for students living in residence and for students that come to campus hungry. They receive donations from various faculties, from independent sponsors and donors. Many staff members con contribute to these food parcels as well. They arrange a weekly quiz where a UWC mathematics challenge is posed to students to attempt in their free time. A winner is declared each week and receives a prize. They offer seminars. These days, due to COVID-19 coronavirus, 
they've been organizing the seminars as webinars online. The most recent one was held on the 24th of August at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, and they had 50 participants. They have a wonderful way of supporting one another. It's called mentorship using the buddy system. The buddy system is based upon students getting together, talking to one another in different years of study from different degrees. And if they have a set of challenges, whatever the case might be, they support one another. The math club does not only look after students doing mathematics, it looks after everyone at the university. It helps the SRC a great deal in many ventures. They also arrange fun activities. They would have cake sales, competitions involving mathematics problems and quizzes, Rubik's, cues, uh, Rubik's Cube challenges, and then these prizes often come in the form of cakes, especially designed by the math club to help students also to relax and enjoy one another's company. They are great at organizing social events, as you can see. And they love entertaining one another and keeping one another happy. So the University of the Western Cape Math Club for students, by students, it's an engaging community for learning mathematics and other subjects. They are available on social media. There is the Instagram link. They are available on Facebook. They have a Facebook page. There's the link to the Facebook page for the UWC Math Club. They have various WhatsApp groups and they have an email address. Please feel free to email them. Thank you.